Hello, my name is Gerard Limerick. I work here at Johns Hopkins and I'm excited to share a bit with you about emerging innovation in the field of pain medicine. As we know, chronic pain remains a significant problem in the United States of America, where over 50 million individuals suffer from chronic pain. Additionally, over 17 million adults suffer from high impact chronic pain, which is pain that significantly reduces their ability to function on a day-to-day -day basis. As we know, there are many adverse effects associated with our current treatments for chronic pain. And so there remains a pressing need to develop new strategies for the treatment of chronic pain. In recent years, there's been a great deal of excitement over the development of the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technology. Recent work demonstrates that using this technology to suppress voltage-gated sodium channels in mouse models of neuropathic and inflammatory pain improves the control of pain in these mouse models. There are currently efforts to translate this technology to human patients. Additionally, in recent years, artificial intelligence has proven that it has the capability to revolutionize every industry in our world. In pain medicine, this means that we will be able to use artificial intelligence to gather comprehensive data sets from chronic pain patients. We can then use that data to cluster patients into subtypes, and we will be able to use those subtypes to generate personalized pain treatment plans for patients with chronic pain. Here at Johns Hopkins, we are doing our part to engineer new technologies for the management of chronic pain. This includes developing positive allosteric modulators to help treat chronic pain. We are also working on targeting pain receptors in the peripheral nervous system in an effort to reduce pain without causing a lot of the sedation and fatigue that we so commonly see in patients who are taking our current, tre current treatments for chronic pain. And then lastly, we are working on developing carrier compounds for pain medications where we can provide multiple days of pain relief with a single administration. For more on these topics, feel free to reference our recent publication in the Journal of Pain Management or reach out to me via email. Thank you.